In times of earthquakes and natural disasters, the Indian Army is among the first responders. Otherwise, it sticks to its job of keeping the nation's borders secure. But the Pakistan Army is a backseat driver in Islamabad. It's a well-known secret. And the Chinese see the army as perhaps the only body that can guarantee that the China-Pakistan economic corridor will be successful, more so given security concerns and, of course, corruption. In India, the army is generally not seen in public except in the event of a natural disaster or some emergency. Contrast this with Pakistan, where a foreign power, China, wants the Pakistan army to oversee the $50 billion China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, or CPEC. Partly, this may be driven by China's growing concerns over the safety of more than 15,000 Chinese workers deployed on CPEC projects from Balochistan to Khyber Pakhtunwala and Punjab. Partly, it reflects the fact that the Pakistan army is the power behind the throne in Islamabad. It could also be because of corruption. Local Pakistani media has reported that at least two highway projects were not awarded to the lowest bidder. No reasons were given by the officials involved. No formal letter of acceptance was issued for award of these contracts. The Army Frontier Works organization lost a major contract because it does not give kickbacks. If we can have regular talks at different levels and across various fields, we can reduce misunderstandings and find more common ground, as we call harmony and diversity in Chinese traditional culture. My personal suggestion for this meeting is that we should have more mechanisms for communication. The conduct of former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is under the scanner. Reports say he set up a special CPEC monitoring unit in his office in May when he was still Prime Minister. That was with his daughter, Mariam, supervising it. The reports say his aim was to channel projects to his home province, Punjab, which could help him during elections later next year. The government has been faulted for not being transparent about CPEC. Local media say food security is being subordinated to the requirements of Chinese companies wanting fertile agricultural land. A four-kilometer-long highway in Karachi is now seen to benefit a proposed Chinese holiday resort. Massive land acquisition is underway in Khyber Pakhtunwala to house Chinese personnel, but this has not been made clear. The government seems to have woken up. Early next week, it is expected to issue a detailed statement on the long-term plan regarding CPEC. Of course, it has done this before and fudged issues further. Little wonder the normally secretive Chinese have insisted on a transparency agreement.